guys so here we are now we are gonna be test riding the Honda Rebel 1100 as you can see right off the bat it's gonna be a motorcycle that's gonna be more in the cruiser uh, cruiser realm of motorcycles this motorcycle almost feels like a bobber by the way you have the seating position very low compared to the tank this motorcycle is gonna be a single disc dual piston in the front you're gonna have your single disc brake in the back it's gonna be dual piston this is gonna be a chain driven motorcycle you can see this motorcycle has a very quiet demeanor from the factory with uh, its factory exhaust uh, you're gonna see that you're not gonna have a lot of suspension travel as well rear and front but then again this motorcycle is not meant to be an adventure bike like you would with the Africa twin here we can see the LCD display here it's gonna allow you to go ahead and sorry it's gonna be on the left side select between your riding modes you could do standard you could do rain you can do user in user mode you're able to go ahead and disable the traction control off which is going to make it a lot better if you're just looking to be a hooligan and then you have sport mode i'm going to go ahead and start this motorcycle in sport mode and just see how it feels we're going to put this kickstand up this motorcycle is going to be the dct okay what are we doing wrong john oh drive we were in neutral so guys one thing that I just noticed, you probably saw it on the video, hello, drive to go ahead and get going, neutral, so let's go ahead. So one thing that I'll show you is, let's go ahead and put this motorcycle in with this kickstand down. I put the kickstand and you're going to see that you automatically shut the motorcycle off. Once you put the motorcycle in with the kickstand down, it automatically shifts to neutral and it's going to allow you to turn the motorcycle on. So let's go ahead and uh, kick the stand up put her in drive mode and let's go ahead and take her away in typical uh, cruiser fashion uh, this motorcycle is going to have forward controls I have a 30 inch inseam and I'm going to have to tell you right off the bat I can tell you that I feel somewhat uncomfortable you can see uh, you're going to see my knees and I'll show you right now in a second You're gonna see my knee literally is already at the higher end of the of the tank. My brother being 5'7, he's gonna he told me that he feels a lot better and more comfortable with this motorcycle. I just from that, I don't think I will be like it. Maybe if we had the ability to move the controls a little bit forward, maybe. But even then I don't think I don't think that I would that this motorcycle will be for me so. Just like the Africa Twin, uh, this motorcycle in sport mode holds the gears a lot longer. So therefore, you're able to stay uh, in that power band a lot longer, which is gonna make you, which is gonna make the motorcycle feel more responsive. So, uh, this motorcycle is, uh, the motor is gonna be tuned differently. Uh, this motorcycle has 78 foot uh, horsepower and it's gonna have around 70 foot pound of torque this motorcycle is gonna be it's gonna come in around ten thousand dollars for the dct model it's gonna come around ninety two hundred dollars for the manual transmission i feel like this motorcycle is gonna be a closer competition to a harley davidson uh sportster the 1200 or perhaps the indian scout one thing that this motorcycle has going for her compared to the harley davidson is gonna be the power and torque numbers are going to be a lot better oh my god i keep myself i keep trying to look down to put my feet down i'm not used to this riding position so the harley davidson power numbers and torque numbers are going to be lower than your honda one thing that you're going to notice is the dct model comes in at 509 pounds the six-speed manual transmission is going to be is going to come at 487 pounds so this one is going to have a 22 uh, weight at uh, 22 pounds uh, weight increase compared to your uh, six-speed manual now you compare this to the Indian Scout you compare this to the Harley Davidson Sportster the 1200 and even with the DCT transmission adding an extra 22 pounds the Sportster is gonna come up over 580 pounds and even with the DCT transmission adding an extra 22 pounds the Sportster is gonna come up over 580 pounds 
while this one having the automatic transmission is going to come at 509 pounds so from the get-go you're going to get more power you're going to get a lighter ride and if these motors and motorcycle is anything like honda is known for you know you're going to get a more reliable ride than you would with uh with your harley davidson sports 1200 now honda saw the opportunity or they saw the need in the market uh to create a motorcycle that motorcycle riders could grow into. Honda has been making the Rebel since the 80s. At one point, they created the Honda Rebel uh, 450. That really didn't gain a lot of popularity. So they kept making uh, the 250 for years unchanged till the late uh, 2000, I would say like teens. Uh, the Honda Rebel has always been one of those motorcycles that you find uh, when you go to test uh, for motorcycle uh, rider scores. So the Rebel many times was the first motorcycle that many riders uh, were able to sit on for the first time. So what Honda saw was there was a need. Many riders, uh, as they were getting more experience and they were getting more comfortable in the riding, they wanted to grow from the 250 into a different else. Now, in the later years, it went to a 300. So in the later years, they saw that uh, many riders that were uh, original Honda Rebel owners we're moving from the 300 to the 500, but then once they agreed the 500, they were going to other brands of motorcycles, primarily the 1200 uh, Sportster, which is gonna be a very close competitor to this motorcycle. So they decided, we already have the engine, let's go ahead and make a motorcycle that is gonna allow us to keep that customer base and go ahead and just keep our riders uh, within the ecosystem of Honda. So that's where the Rebel 1100 came in. When they were making this end, uh, motor, uh, where they were redesigning the motor for the Rebel, what they did was they wanted to have a motorcycle that was gonna be more in tune with your typical cruiser rider. You wanna have that low end torque that's gonna be able to get you off the, off the light very quickly. And this motorcycle does that. This motorcycle delivers peak uh, torque numbers around the 4200 mark I believe it's 4250 rpm uh, compared to the same engine on the Africa twin where it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be delivered uh, closer to the 6000 rpm uh, this motor uh, the way they did it for the rebel uh, it's gonna be a little bit detuned so you're gonna get less horsepower and less torque however you get the torque numbers uh, pretty much right off the bat so guys right now we are in Florida it's around four o'clock in the afternoon the sun is hitting us right from above and literally the display is going to be very clear it's very crisp you're able to see very clearly the rpm display uh, you can see your gear right now you can see your mileage and it's going to show you what type of riding you're doing right now it's going to show you the outside temp and if you want here is the ability to set the cruise control you set it and you go so if you have a long commute short commute whatever the need is going to be uh, you're able to use the cruise control now let's say you want to go ahead and just stop using it you're going to go ahead and press the brake and it automatically disables the cruise control just like you would in your car see so let's go ahead and give it a downshift here so as you can see it literally holds the mileage not the mileage it holds the gears a lot longer we'll go ahead and we'll put in sport mode here coming up just to see uh just so i can show you guys just so i can show you guys uh, the way she looks so right now just so you can see we're doing around 50 miles an hour she is a little bit over 3,000 rpms so this motorcycle also has the ability for you to do manual shifting i'll be honest with you unless i really saw the need i don't really feel the point of doing manual shifting just because she's so responsive in sport mode and you're going to be in the power one almost the whole time that you are riding the motorcycle that unless I needed, I needed to do some specific type of riding, which I don't see the point. You're, you're, you know, you buy a cruiser for a reason. You're definitely able just to ride this motorcycle in sport mode versus uh, your standard. So let me go ahead and just put it on standard mode uh, here and I'll show you guys. So just one thing guys, so you know, this has the ability to change it to user. When you change it to user, obviously, it's, it, you see a flash and that means I have to go ahead and set it up. But if you set it up in user mode, it's going to allow you the ability to select your settings. So for example, traction control or wheelie control as they like to call it. It's going to be disabled which is going to allow you to have uh, more fun on the bike so if you could ride the motorcycle in rain mode and 
sorry I should have been more specific so if you want if you want the motorcycle to go ahead and go into that riding mode you have to let go of the throttle so let's go ahead and just go to standard so now we're in standard mode and as you can see it's still holding the gear at 30, uh, 6 gear at 30, some, uh, 30 plus miles an hour so let me go ahead and not do anything right now we're gonna be turning up here real quickly and I'll show you guys one gripe that I have already right off the bat with this motorcycle is gonna be that you have it feels like at least for me I'm 5'10 so I literally have the hole I'm gonna have the engine casing right off the bat right there right against my ankle which is gonna become uh, it's, it's somewhat uncomfortable for riding as you can see look at the tank so whether I'm thinking it's not adjusted right because that tank should not be moving like that so waiting up up here to turn so as you can see we're doing six we're already in six gear are 30 miles plus an hour which I'm gonna have to tell you uh, she feels very weak so if you give it a lot of throttle she's gonna go ahead and change the, uh, she's gonna go ahead and downshift on her own however if you keep it on sport mode the motorcycle automatically will just uh, since it's staying in gear longer you won't have the need to do that so I'll show you guys here so let's go ahead and turn our signals off so as you can see she literally uh, changes gears right away so right away she's changing into the next gear so we're waiting here for these cars to move since we're gonna come to a full stop anyways but this is what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna show you what I mean so we're coming to a full stop just like we did back there however let's go ahead and change our riding mode to sport mode so I'm just waiting for that car to go ahead and give me some distance so I can show you guys all right here we go so as you can see right off the bat it's holding the gears a lot longer so that's gonna make you be in the power band a lot longer than you would with your regular uh with your regular standard mode as you can see we are in six gear now at 50 versus earlier you were already in six gear just a little bit above 30 plus miles an hour so again it is going to feel a lot better in sport mode and as you can see as we're coming down to a, to a to slowing down she will automatically downshift like it does in an automatic car i will tell you if you are a short rider this motorcycle is going to be for you the very low seat height at a little bit over uh, 27 inches from the ground is going to make this motorcycle uh, make it ideal for that short rider whether you're a man or woman so I believe this motorcycle is also going to introduce a new it's going to include many more riders to the Honda brand specifically the Rebel 1100 brand so as you can see guys it keeps holding the gear very long so that's gonna make the ride more enjoyable at least for me so let's go ahead and we're gonna go back to the main road so brakes I'm gonna have to say they're not very responsive uh, I'm not sure if that's the ABS or it, it has to do any, or if it has anything to do with the single uh, front disc but I was pressing both front and rear and she was I think she was still she was thinking about coming to a stop so maybe I gotta press them a little harder or perhaps the bike only has 21 miles so So maybe that ha that has a lot to do with it so let's go ahead and change this to so as you can see uh on user mode it's going to be basically right now almost as it's going to be not like your sport mode i will have to take the time to set it up we're not going to be doing that on this right all we're doing is just testing the motorcycle see how she rides so this motorcycle here has a 3.5 gallon tank uh, it's good for 41 miles per gallon so around every 100 miles or so 
you're gonna have to be looking for gas to me i feel like they should have added maybe that extra half gallon to go ahead and make it a full four gallon motorcycle uh give it a little bit more range but i believe that your typical rider is not going to need that much of a range just because of the type of riding they're going to be doing so here we go So we're gonna go ahead and get up here. We're gonna get up to speed and see how she feels. So, as you can see, she's still holding speed right there. So if I wanted to, I could do manual shifting, go ahead and just shift her up. And we can even do fifth and we can even do sixth gear right there. So, and I wanna show you guys, once we get up to here, we're gonna come to one of the county roads. I'm gonna go ahead and punch her right off the bat. So you can see her downshifting into what the computer thinks is going to be the best gear for her and go ahead and get up to speed one thing that it does feel a little bit funny is going to be once it's going up to speed and it's downshifting you're going to feel like you're going to feel like that uh kick from the motorcycle as she's getting into that lower gear so i'll show you guys up here This motorcycle is supposed to have a 37 degree uh, lean angle, which is going to make this motorcycle very good when it comes to the twisties. Look at the speed. So as you can see, this motorcycle is going to be limited to 100 miles per hour. We did just that, we did 99, and she was literally not going above, if anything, it was just dropping in speed. But then again, this motorcycle is not one of those motorcycles that's, that's it's made for you to be riding around like if you were riding a rocket. This is gonna be your typical just uh, cruiser bike, you're taking it easy, you're just going, you know, taking your time riding either to work, going to the beach, just your weekend getaway bike. So if this motorcycle, for me, if this motorcycle was a little bit uh, bigger, I would say, maybe this would be a good bike for me. Uh, I feel like I'm cramped, but then again, I'm 5'10". We'll test uh, the, the last riding mode that we could test without having to do any type of, uh, any type of uh, change into the riding the way we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and put her in rain. I'm gonna have to say Honda did a great job with the display as you can see the back is gonna be black so literally the numbers the temperature the gear everything kind of pops out so let's see we're waiting for traffic here to die down so it says that it's 85 degrees I'm pretty sure I want to bet that it probably feels closer to 100 degrees it's Florida season spring is here which is gonna be summer all right let's go ahead and see so I'm giving it all she got. So she does feel a lot more tame than she did when we were riding her in sport mode or even in standard mode. So, uh, so we're back in sport mode. Let's go ahead and put that cruise control on. So. One thing that I love about this motorcycle, as you guys can see, is going to be this beautiful paint job. They did an excellent job uh, mating this black frame with this, uh, I'm not even sure what this is going to be, a maroon color, burgundy. It literally looks, it literally fits the motorcycle. So we turned the cruise control off there, so you have the ability to on and off from here. Uh, So down here you're able to select between your trips, so you have trip A and you have your total miles. So guys, my opinion would be that he's a great motorcycle, whether you're going to be a beginner rider, whether you're moving up in motorcycle or whether you're just looking to move into a different type of riding. This motorcycle is going to be well priced for the DCT at $10,000. If you're not into the DCT and you want to roll your own gears, you're always welcome to do the manual transmission. That one is going to come at $9,200. Uh, for a motorcycle with this much technology, uh, you have riding, you have four different riding modes. You have cruise control. You're still paying 10 grand. 
you have you're spending ten thousand dollars uh, this motorcycle comes in at 509 pounds compared to the competition for example the harley that is going to be 580 plus it's going to be the same thing for the indian scout 550 plus uh, pounds so she feels very well one thing i have to say is she feels very nimble right off the bat uh, when i was taking that turn she felt like she wanted to keep leaning uh, so i'm gonna have to say that i actually enjoy that that's not something that cruisers are known for usually usually they have a very uh they're gonna be very low no lean angle whatsoever so very impressed honestly this motorcycle feels very light from the get-go the different riding modes make this bike more enjoyable I will have to say the controls and everything feels very well placed the handlebars are positioned perfectly there so even for me at 510 uh, 30 inch inseam um, you're gonna see that I, I'm, I feel very nicely I have very ease of use when it comes to uh, maneuvering the display it's gonna be very simplistic yet it's gonna be very user-friendly uh, so if you look at this motorcycle you have the whole package uh, one thing you're gonna notice is gonna be this is going to be your emergency brake right there so once you come to a stop if you come to an area where you want to go ahead and just where you want to go ahead and just you know set, set everything up you go ahead and do that this motorcycle so the ignition is the ignition is going to be on your left side and then you're going to have a steering lock on this side and i'll show you guys when we get off so so you're going to have the ability to go ahead and lock your steering for more protection one thing that i also like about this motorcycle is going to be the fact that you have the ability to turn on your your hazard light so by doing that you're able to see that we have the hazard lights on so very good for being a motorcycle that's going to be this low and not very much suspension travel i have to say she rides very good over bumps and everything another thing that i notice is that the stock seat on this honda is going to be very comfortable uh, i'm not sure if they if it is because the way the seat is shaped is going to be a wider seat uh, but even my yamaha fjr with the standard seat after i would say 10 10 15 minutes of riding that model that seat was already very uncomfortable so it has a very comfortable seat from the factory so guys there you have it 2021 honda rebel 1100 changing the game as we speak and if you are looking for an automatic transmission this will be good for you I know many people say that oh well why would you ride a motorcycle uh, why would you ride a automatic trans uh, motorcycle very simple you have people that still want to ride that have had injuries uh, people with carpal tunnel people that have upper body uh, injuries that want to be able to keep enjoying their riding that they don't have maybe they have some weakness to the hand and they're not able to be shifting constantly this motorcycle will be great You're, it's able to allow riders to continue riding for longer and you have a motorcycle that's going to uh, make riding easier also has the ability of the cruise control which if for any of you that have been doing riding for a while there's different gadgets out there in the market they have multiple uh, brands of throttle lock however having a cruise control where you can set it and just forget about it is going to be great one of the things that people uh, don't think about is when you're doing long distance riding and which anybody could do i mean i see long distance riding on smaller motorcycles when you're doing long, long distance riding unless you have a throttle lock uh, your hand is going to be always cramping because you're going to have to keep your hand always locked in place if you have cruise control you're able to lock it up you're able to relax your wrist it gives you the ability to if you want to to stretch your hands you can go ahead and set your cruise control you can go ahead and remove it stretch your hand and then go ahead and put it back in your handlebars another thing is if you have a throttle lock like i have on my yamaha fjr the yamaha fjr with a throttle lock or any motorcycle that has a tr throttle lock you're not going to have the ability to uh to set it and to set a speed and forget it the throttle lock all it does is just it locks it, uh, the throttle uh, speed so when you have any changes to elevation you're going to notice that you're going to see your speed uh, fluctuate whether it's going to be higher speed whether it's going to be lower speeds so having cruise control is going to be having the having the cruise control is going to make riding a lot easier so so i'm not sure if i could get used to this forward uh riding just because of how high my legs sit on the on the motorcycle
guys if you enjoy the content make sure to give it a thumbs up share like and subscribe i'm gonna be doing a lot more of this type of writing uh i live in florida so they always have either demo days or they have days that some dealers just put together for you to go ahead and check out their motorcycles so so if you like the content just go ahead and give me a like thumbs up follow the channel so you can see future content and just see what else is out there as far as riding so we're getting back here to the dealer and i'm just waiting to go ahead and so, so just so we can go ahead and pull in typical florida there's literally accidents left and right all the time here that that mercedes didn't fare well so So, All right, guys so we're here so real quick we'll show you so put it in neutral put the side stand down and you're good to go